Okay, I just went to Asus's website. Threw the new BIOS on here that's going to work, recognize my um, Zen 3. I mean, my Zen, yeah, Zen 3, 5000 CP. Well, rarely wish they could have cleared that. I need a power supply, so let me get the power supply bought. Okay. One power supply. I'm going to save that. We have a Seasonic 80 plus gold, 850 watt. Try to get some of the Ship increases that I guess you could call them. Okay, it's a motherboard. Why is that a thing? Which one goes? Huh. I'm just trying to get them bent. Motherboard there. Motherboard there. Spin the box slightly. Motherboard there. Uh, do I need to run anything else? I'm not running CPU right now. Hook. Hook, hook. Let's see if there's a designated BIOS USB slot. Okay, so I see one. We got a four pin, we got an eight pin. And cable that's an eight and a four. It's interesting how they put these the clips at the top and the bottom is the thing that's always trying to spread apart and run away. There it goes. Stinks that I take all this back off. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I'll just try to install the motherboard with it on. And I need a uh, four.
That four pin is confusing the mess out of my little brain. Oh, it's keys work. Nope, those keys aren't going to work. Is it one or the other? Um, I'm confused. I have plenty of cables. Let's see what we got. A CPU. I'm wondering something. I should have went to a graphics card. Everything in there, but this is all hard drives. Well, that's an hard drive. Still not a four. Wait a minute. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, that's going to hurt my will feelings. Six to six power supply. Yes, these are ribbon cables I bought to try to do a white. There we go. Thought they were really gonna hurt my feelings. Go ahead and get these doubled up. It said it's been a bunch of years since I've done an AMD motherboard. I've done a lot of Intels here recently, but I guess that's everyone's case. I get my big fingers down in here. Okay. Well, I should be able to get the um, power supply and put it in the backyard. We shall see. <laughs> okay. Of course, something popped out. We'll get you in, in a minute, buddy. Don't worry about it. This one's a pain. 
just because the sleeves so far down on these two, they have to sit underneath each other instead of next to each other. All right, let's get rid of all the extras. All right, so. S3. So. Two moving parts at the moment. That's off. I need to be able to see the front and get you pushed into a didn't say which one, so we're just gonna pick one. Wow, they're getting good at making this text tiny. Yeah, their book's quite clear. They yeah, had the overview up front in chapter two gives you all the tiny little details that it went through and kind of did most of. Here we go. Parallelities, reset switch. Okay, where's the power? I'm assuming these are going to be the power. Can y'all please give me a layout instead of just showing me that? Back to the front. That's the AAH power. There we go. Power button, power button, ground. It's the one that I thought it was. So, well, this is like a whole flashback to many, many years ago. Should be this. Which mode are you in? Normal mode. Turn it on. Motherboard should be hot. Yeah, there's lights up under here. And I need something metal. I'm going to steady him for a moment. I'm looking for the light. I don't see it. So we had to go through the extra steps of flashing the BIOS without a CPU. Essentially, it's really simple. USB stick, preferably 2.0 for their instructions, formatted FAT32. On this motherboard, you, you place a stick here in this USB slot. You apply uh, power to the motherboard, the 24 pin, the two CPU pins here, so you know you've got all the mother, uh, all the power that needs to be there. Turn the power supply on. On this motherboard, there's lights under here that light up to let you know that the motherboard's on. Once that happens, the little switch right here, you press and you hold it for three seconds. Right next to it's a little LED light, which will start flashing. 
leave it flash for mine took about three three and a half minutes it'll go off when it's off it's done caution i'll i'll say don't make the mistake i did i plugged my this motherboard directly into a wall outlet we never lose power around here but the one time we would would be we didn't but we could have I've got a battery backup sitting right there. I've got another one sitting over there. I've got a, I could have plugged it in any of them. We'd have been good. Either way, successful flash. And I put the CP back in. Now we're going to get the case out of its box, which is going to be interesting. 